in this lecture finally we are going to deploy our MERN project and before that whatever steps I have shown you like connecting to online database updating our code and pushing entire code inside github repository all the steps has to be completed and now for deploying for both backend and frontend I will be using same server so if you are using same server we do not have to use cores in our application if you want to use different server then you should include cores in your application so for deployment we will be using this render if you have already registered you can continue i will click on get started for free now i'm just going to create the account you can select any options i will click on google from here i will select the email id and i'm just going to register once i register i will have this complete interface inside this i'm just going to click on this new web service we have to connect our git provider and our entire code we have pushed inside github so i will be selecting github so wherever you have pushed the code accordingly select the options from here scroll down you can see we are having repository access and here i will select only selected repositories remove this instead from here i'm just going to select the repository which i have created just now i have created mon e-commerce english i will select this and click on save now you can see we are having a repository as soon as we click on this below this we are having the form name is mon e-commerce english exact same repository name scroll down branch we do not have to change region if you want you can change from here root directory it is optional you can leave empty now build command very important inside this we will pass npm run build so using this command what we will do we will install node modules in root we will install node modules in frontend and we will run this npm run build in frontend and finally start command we will be passing npm run start okay to directly start the application inside this start we have passed node and path of my server.js so that is the reason we will pass npm run start now scroll down we are having instance type i will be selecting free if you want to go for any paid version where you will have lot of storage accordingly you can proceed but for this project i will be selecting free then scroll down below this you can see we are having environmental variables and one by one you can add all the variables or you can simply upload the file i will click on this add from dot env from here i'm just going to click on choose a file now i will open my project and inside this backend config i am having config.env i will click on open you can see all the variables will be present i will click on add variables so now inside this all my env variables will be present and accordingly whatever values we have given all the values will be displayed inside this we are having some sensitive data like cloudinary name api key api secret key which i do not want to reveal once all the steps are completed i will click on deploy web service and it will take some time so let us wait and here you can see it is building the project and we are having our host and here if you see it is running the build command which we have passed now here i am having build successful let us wait till it is building it is starting my application now here i am having 
your service is live server is running on port 8000 and mongodb is connected with this database now i will scroll up inside this we are having this host i will click on this you can see successfully we have deployed our project and whatever product we have created that project will be available and also all the loading spinners are working now i'm just going to log in click on sign in login successful and here i am having admin dashboard inside which we are having one total product now i will come to products and here i am just going to click on account you can see entire account will be displayed from here we can change the password we can see all the orders but as of now we are not having any orders so we will have no orders found now i am just going to log out now maybe user has forgotten the password i will click on reset here i will be passing the email id and click on send it will be loading and i am having email is sent to hanamtestad at gmail.com successfully i will open the email now here you can see i have received the email and just now i have received and if you notice we are having the protocol http and we are having our complete host name now if i click on this our reset page will be opened where user can reset the password i will change the password if i give wrong password click on reset password i will have password does not match now i will be giving the correct password click on reset password i will have password reset successful and now i have to log in with new password sign in login successful now what i will do i will just check if this cart is working or not add items to cart it is adding i am having jacket is added to cart successfully if i click on cart page this is my cart page i will click on proceed to checkout and inside this i will be passing all the shipping details pin code phone number select country i will select india state karnataka city i will be selecting bengaluru click on continue now you can see order confirmation page and also i am able to display the image now i will click on proceed to payment and here i am having pay button i will click on this now you can see razor pay is also working so entire functionality of project is working upa select this click on verify and pay now let us wait now it is confirming the payment and the payment is successful once our payment is successful we will be redirected to payment success and we will have order placed and inside this we will have this information i will click on view orders i am having my order if i click on this i will have that complete order information order status is processing and payment is paid now i will come to admin dashboard now you can see total orders is one if i click on all orders it is processing now if i click on this complete order information will be displayed if admin wants admin can also change order status entire functionality is working successfully we have completed all the functionalities of this mon project congratulations on completing this mon e-commerce project and now i believe you have learned lot of concept and now you are confident enough to deploy this mon project so using this concept we have understood how to send reset password emails how to build both admin and user dashboard with role based access and also how to integrate and configure payment gateway for smooth transactions
and this complete project i have designed you to give real world experience and also prepare you for full stack web development if you have made it this far then you have already achieved something big so congratulate yourself because you have invested lot of your time for creating this project if you are having any doubts or any questions or if you need any clarification on any part you can ask your doubts in comment section and i will always try to help each and every one of you and also i would really appreciate if you could take some moment and share the feedback on the course and also share this project with your friends who really want to learn mon stack development thank you once again for watching this complete course and being part of this journey so just keep building keep coding and never stop learning